Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to switch out characters in Unreal Engine. This can be done in any project, but I'm going to be doing it inside of my multiplayer zombie survival template. So I'm going to have a few things in here for the template that will help you out. But the base of the switching out the characters can work in any project. It applies in all projects. So basically what, what it is is, let's say you have your um, characters and they're all rigged to the Unreal Engine skeleton and you want to switch those characters out with different meshes. If they all use the same skeleton, the problem is you want them to all share the same animation blueprints and animations and montages and stuff. It's very easy to do. So what you would do usually, you would go to the marketplace, you'd buy a character, you'd add it to the project, and I did it with the knight. There was some kind of knight character. I added it in here, and you open them up, and it comes with his meshes down here and also his skeleton. So if you can open up a skeleton, you see it's uh, it's all rigged here, and it's the uh, Unreal Engine skeleton. So what you can do is you want to use you don't want to use this skeleton. You want to use the one that's you already have. So you can go to delete. Where's delete on here? Delete. And it's going to say, oh, your ref this is all still referenced to the skeleton. Well, you can just type in mannequin and pick your mannequin skeleton that you've already used or whatever your skeleton is called just make sure it's rigged the same this is the mannequin skeleton I'm using in my project click that so it's going to replace all the references with your skeleton hit replace hit OK and then save and now your character here which is the knight should be referencing our existing skeleton so now to use it we can go and uh, to whatever character you're doing. In this case, I'm going to switch out the zombie, the base zombie. You can come in here, click on his mesh, and then just scroll down here and change it to the gothic knight. And there you go. Now you have a knight, and he's automatically using all the animations, and all is good. Now let's say you didn't want to uh, change this base zombie. You wanted to leave him like that. You can actually right click the base zombie, go to create a child blueprint class. We can call this like night base or night zombie. Okay, open him up and you can change just his mesh to medieval knight. There you go. Compile, save. So now base zombie is the same. Knight looks like that. And if you're using the template, you can come over here to any of these spawners. There's multiple in your in your levels. Here's the one in the start room. And you just come over here to type of enemy, click the little drop down and change instead of a base zombie, let's use the night zombie. We'll click that. You can also click this right here and you can add base zombie. And it'll spawn knights and ba base zombies. And we'll hit play real quick and hop in the game and see what it looks like. So as you can see, I'm playing as my character, which uses the Unreal Skeleton, which is the same skeleton as the zombies that are about to spawn are going to use. So now we have a base zombies and knights all spawning, all using the same animations, all using the same skeleton, and all is good. And everything's good to go. And that works in every Unreal project, not just this template. You just uh, switch it out that same way. You just have to make sure that they're rigged to the Unreal Engine skeleton. The same bones, same hierarchy, and you're good. And most of the marketplace uh, products will tell you in the description. It'll say rigged and scaled to epic skeleton. Yes or no. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, just make sure if you're using the template, you uh, go to all the different spawners. Like here's the start level. And there's like spawners all over the place and you go in here and you can change with a drop down what is actually going to spawn here. So right now it's just spawning the base zombie, which you can change it to the the night zombie right here. And you're good to go. Alright, well that's pretty much it guys. It's really easy, really simple. Life is so easy when it's all rigged to the same skeleton because they can all share the same animations and blueprints. It's nice. So... Thanks for watching guys, uh, make sure you like and subscribe and all that other stuff that the YouTubers always say that's annoying. <laughs> and, uh, if you like the template and you, ain't, and you don't have it, then go ahead and check it out, it's on the marketplace. I'll leave a link in the description and uh, 
Yeah. See you guys later.